I have children, but they are very small. That means that their books are pretty much filled up with pictures and some text. Nevertheless, I really enjoy the stories in the books, and that has made me think if I have been undervaluing children's novels all my life. Hi, I'm Oistan, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to try to figure out if children's novels is the way to go if you want to start reading more books. I've never really considered reading children's novels before in my life, and that's kind of insane, because I really now think that reading children's novels might be a key to reading more and just starting the process of picking up books and making a habit of it. Now I'll go through why I think reading children's novels as a beginner reader and a reader in general is a good thing. And if you have more arguments to fill out this list, comment below. The first thing is that I don't think that the people that don't read are that interested in the language of the books, but rather what happens in the books. Like me, that's one of my things. I love a good plot rather than great words. And many of these children's novels are straight to the point, so when you start reading the books you get straight into the action and you don't have to have a great build-up or anything. Also the enjoyment of words is something that can develop over time. That's sort of where I am. I'm just starting to realize how words can be more beautiful than they were before, so I think that will just increase while I read more books. And so if you start out reading children's novels, I think also that's something that will come to you. Number two on the list is sort of related because children's novels have a very easy language to understand. And this makes it perfect if you want to read more in the second language, for example. You can read simpler children's novels and understand more of the text and then feel more accomplished as a foreign reader just because you, you get the message and you understand the words. And then you can develop further after a while. The next one is a big one for me only because I'm a very distracted person and I feel when I read it in children's novels there are a lot of pictures, you turn the page a lot and so for people that are easily distracted children's books with pictures in them are great. Also most children's novels have a huge font which makes it really page turny without being exciting at all. That's one of the things I really love about these children's novels. Also, as a beginner reader specifically, feeling accomplishment in your reads is an important thing. So when reading children's novels, you get to turn the page a lot, as I mentioned, and you finish books quickly. That makes it feel like you're doing quite well. And you are, because you're reading books, and that's the most important thing. And for those of you that watch my video, you all know how much I love filling up my shelf. So if you have a shelf goal of reading that many meters in a year or something like that, or centimeters, then you can start out by reading a lot of children's novels, because many of them you can read out in a day, and that's a positive. And I will feel that I've read more, even though the word count isn't as great as it could have been, but who cares about that? Many people care about that, but this video isn't for them. This next one is maybe the most important one, and that's read for the pure enjoyment. I would say that children's novels in general are more enjoyable than other novels for me at least, just because they are meant to be entertaining and I'm a person that likes easy entertainment and thus reading children's novels feels great. And as I said earlier in the video, I've talked about not thinking about children's novels as books and that's idiotic, but that's what I've done and with this epiphany I know that I will have much more enjoyable reads in the future. And maybe a bigger part of my reads will be more enjoyable just because I've started reading children's novels. So even though novels for grown-ups can play around with different themes and concepts, I think that in the world of children's novels everything's allowed and it makes it much more fun. I also think that my brain helps me out a bit because if my brain is switched on children's novels mode, sort of everything goes, there's no, oh, that was a weird thing to say, or where did that come from? There's something missing in the plot. Everything's just okay, and I think I have a bias for reading children's novels, so I will continue doing that in the future. To conclude this video, if you're a person like me that thinks that children's novels is something yet that you won't be doing in the future, just stop that and read whatever you like, but if you think that you would enjoy reading children's novels, I think you should. And for those of you out there that haven't thought about it, I would recommend reading a children's novel, 
just because they're purely fun. And especially if you're in a reading slump and don't want to pick up books at the moment, picking up a children's novel is a great way of just getting through a book and becoming more happy, I would say. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have been more motivated to start reading or reading more or picking up a children's novel in general. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.